prospects, but over the years, whenever the puck has been dropped, one constant of hockey is that the H stands for the hit. Coming up, some of the better hits of the 1980s. First, let's go to the wrestling bowl. This mom is a headlock. Ex-Bruin John Wensey on Bruin Mike Milbury. To the turnbuckle goes Wayne Cashman from Ron Suttlebauer. The conglomerate hit of 84, Ben Wilson, gets Lindsey Carson and his goalie, Warren Skorodensky. The Flyers get a goal. Flying tackle award to Brian Trotche for this playoff downer on Ron Greshner. Mid-ice hits are devastating. Paul Holmgren on Yari Curry. How about Tim Higgins on Bent Gustafson in 84? In the same year, Gary Nyland on Ron Francis. Or this punishing shoulder applied by Lindy Ruff on Jimmy Mann. In all of these hits, no one was injured enough to miss the next game. The big hit in an Oilers Flyers 85 game, Mike Krusielniski on Dave Brown. Dave Tippett upended Jan Ludwig in 85. How about Glenn Cochran on somersaulting Miroslav Freacher? Or 82, jolting Jean Pronovo. Dave Farish of the Maple Leafs with the hip check on Barry Beck. That was in 80. This one in 88, Lyndon Byers on Jay Wells. Tom Laidlaw put this hit on Al Iafredi in 1985. He didn't miss a game. When Larry Playfair hit Doug Crossman in that same year, a piece of equipment was left behind. Hunter of the Oilers gave Paul Gagne of the Devils a little jolt, but with a glove from the ice, it's hard to find a stick at the Oilers' bench, and you don't get much help. Christian Rutu had a harder time finding his stick after Mark Osborne tossed it into the seats in 86. Not every hit denies a goal. Unbelievable ones have been collected by Ron Greshner against the Islanders. By ex-Ranger Brian McClellan against his old team. How about this one by Luke Robitaille against the Flames? Not everything in hockey stays put. In 88, Michael Pavonka and Shel Samuelson found loose doors in Landover. Dean Talifus of the Rangers drilled Rick Vasco through the penalty box doors at Madison Square Garden. But in 1981, Joel Quenville and Andre Savard had a little tougher time at the odds. Finally, to top it all off, the biggest miss of the 80s. Barry Beck on Gary Sargent. 